Okay, today what I'm going to do is show you how to make a pictograph. A pictograph is just a graph that instead of having bars or lines that go out to uh, point out numbers and data, it's just got pictures to do it. And it's a really good activity to do with um, junior school kids. The demo I'm going to do today is just using um, a class, quick class survey of favourite pets and you could use this for any sort of um, information but try and keep it down to ones that don't have massive amounts of numbers or they simply won't work because you need to use pictures remember to represent your graph so this okay for this example I have just created some data here and I've set off I've uh, used pets as an example I've got cats dogs goldfish rabbits mice and crabs what we need to do is turn these numbers into pictures we really don't want to have too many words in it at all um, we want the pictures to tell the story so for this to happen basically what we need to do is I'll just go down to a new page here so I'll start afresh so it would be for you so once you've collected a data, your data you need to work out how many items you've got so I've got one two three four five six and I'll need some columns there for the pictures to go in so if I click on insert table 6 by 2 and I'm going to get just add an extra couple of columns because I always find I need to add more as I go along I can remove these at any stage I'll show you how to do that at the end if I pop that in I'm just going to put in here my words cats dogs goldfish rabbits mice and what was my last one crabs and I can size them up and if I want to put some headings and things we can put that in last but what I need to do for starters is basically we're just going to use clip art if you want to use a photo it doesn't really make any difference we're just going to click insert clip art this time because I'm thinking I'd use this for junior school I'm just going to type in cats and hit go basically what I want to find is just one quite simple clear cat picture I'm trying to find one here with a white background if I can preferably there we go that one looks perfect for me Oops, I've just had an extra one. I can just click on that and hit delete to get rid of it. What I need to do is I now need to get 12 of these in here. So what I'm going to do is shrink that down to a size that I want. I probably can get rid of this chart now. To get rid of it, I just need to click on delete cells and I want to delete this entire column. Hit OK. I'll stretch this out sort of as far as I can for the moment. Now make sure you get the size you want before you actually copy them. So I think I'll get 12 in there using that. I hit copy, paste, or I can hit control V. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I know that I'm not going to have any more than that because I think cats were my highest piece of data there. I could go back and resize these and stick them in a bit bigger if I wanted. I just have to recopy them. I could delete all these and do it again. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. But just for the moment, we'll leave that. I do the same with my dogs. Once again, just trying to find either a photograph or an icon I look we'll use this one for the sake of the argument pop him in there now photos are always quite large so we need to shrink him right down now I think from memory I said I had nine of these so I can make him a little bit bigger and I hit copy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Okay, so I won't go through adding all of these. Okay, I'll do this and then come back. Okay, so now I've added all of the images that I wanted to my pictograph. All I really need to do is jazz it up and make it look a bit more appealing. First thing I'll do is put in a heading for this. So simply add in some text. Grade two pictograph of our pets. And I'll just make that centered and I'll tidy it up a little, little bit more in a moment. If I want to resize my graph, which I really do because I don't really need to put anything below it, but you could put some sort of information below it if you want to. Um, I'll go a bit bigger again. And I can now delete this cell by just clicking delete cells. This time I need to delete entire row. And finally the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to center everything up so all my text is not up the top right, top left corner, it's in the middle. So to do that I just click on cell alignment and I put everything in the middle that drops it down. Now I'm just going to spend a few moments changing around the fonts and the look look of it just to make it look a little bit more appealing to the kids. Um, I won't put you through that though. Okay so that's the finished product there. Remember if you want to get hold of it you can just download this template from EdGalaxy and yeah love to hear or see anyone else's that they've done too.